In the past videos, we talked about why drones are cool, why you should use SolidWorks to design your drone, and some things to keep in mind when doing so. But all this is theoretical. Where do you actually start? First, let's get familiar with the main components of a drone. The most important are obviously the propellers. Most common drones have four and they're called quadcopters. Propellers have blades that are twisted so that the pitch is correlated with the different air speeds along the length. They spin in different directions such that the aerodynamic torque is balanced and your drone won't spin out of control. However, to create your roll and pitch, the propellers should spin at different velocities. In a future video, I will show you how to design them in SolidWorks. The frame is what links the propellers to the main body. It can be placed either the top or bottom and it doesn't have to be rigidly connected. In fact, a little flexibility would allow for the shock of landing to be absorbed. The shape doesn't really matter, which is why you can choose the best design after you test various configurations using SOLIDWORKS simulation. The electric motor and the battery power the propellers and any other mechanical device, such as a claw. Some competitions require that you only use an unmodified over-the-counter motor. Sensors are another important part and they can include accelerometers and gyroscopes for stability, pressure sensor and vertical camera to measure altitude, ultrasound sensor to connect to your controller, magnetometer, and others. Other components depend on the missions your drone has to complete. A camera or a camera mount for recording, some sort of a claw or a compartment that can carry objects, a proximity sensor to avoid obstacles, or a GPS to follow a specific path. Once you decide on the competition you want to attend, check the requirements and regulations. Based on the weight limit and the required components, you can estimate the final weight of your drone. The weight will determine the lift required, which in turn depends on the propeller blades and the power from the electric motor. Everything is linked, so think about what you will keep fixed and adjust the variables based on your needs. For example, you know the maximum weight, so figure out how much power the motor can provide and see if you need to compensate that by adjusting the geometry of the blades to increase the lift. You could start designing your whole drone with a motor that is both fit and affordable, and work from there. In fact, you can look up the 3D model of the motor and use SolidWorks to design all the components around it before you actually buy it. In the second part of this video, I will tell you where you can find many 3D models of standard parts so that you can start working on your design. I will also show you a strategy to manage many interdependent components.